up a storm. The cards are packed. Hello, thank you for visiting my website and getting ready for this brand new tutorial on Finale 2012. My name is Jorge Silvestrini, and today uh, we're going to have the first part of showing you how to go from something like this written by hand into something like this when you can write it in Finale 2012. And Finale is my program of choice. There, there are other programs out there, but I'm sticking with uh, Finale. So let's get to it. Let's get right on it. Um, let's close preview. And I have my Finale shortcut here. Um, cool thing that I wanted to just start off and show you is if you don't have it there you could go ahead and look it up in spotlight look it up over here in the launch pad and you can launch it once you launch it and that happens um, if you always want it here you can just right click options keep in dock and it will always be there for you ready to go okay so little tip there um, then I'm using Finale 2012. The latest version is C. And if you don't have it yet, you can go to Finale Music. There it is. .com. You'll be here. Um, you could go and download a free trial version for 30 days. It works completely free for 30 days. You can save, print, and do everything. The only thing that you're not going to get is the instruments. The Gary Tin instrument sounds. That's what you are not going to uh, get. Everything else you will have. You can download it and then follow uh, this tutorial along and get to copy music. So, first thing is we're going to get this window um, and we're going to go ahead and set up wizard. Set up wizard is going to get us in this next window where we're going to actually start setting up our score. So, You've got ensembles on the left, and you've got uh, document styles on your right here. I prefer to use, and this is because I've done it already many, many times, I prefer to use the handwritten style jazz font. You should go ahead and try different things and see what works best for you for this example and for it to look just like this. We're going to use the handwritten style jazz font, which is this one right there. Okay? I'm going to leave everything else as is because I'm only doing one part for the master rhythm chart. And we'll get into that in a second. I'm going to press next. We're going to be now in our instrument selection window. Select the instruments right here. So we can select from the keyboard section, voices, woodwinds. So if we were doing a big score, let's say trumpet, trombone, then let's say a couple of saxophones or a flute. See, just by adding, all I'm doing is picking an instrument, let's say violin, double clicking, or viola add, and then it'll add it. If you look in here, orchestral score, that's what I have selected, it will give us the order already for us if we can have we could have a jazz band we could have a custom order and then all we do is we select it and we move it around up and down okay right now i just press Control a or apple a uh, for a mac and i'm going to remove everything because all i want is to do blank staff you could save your ensembles you could use already pre-made ensembles See that? So play around with this screen. In, in here, I'm just going to go blank staff, add it next. We're going to get to the score information. This is where we're going to add everything in here. Copyright and everything else, okay? So I'm just going to move this to the right. I won't let go. Subtitle. As recorded by Rascal Flats. Music by Jackson 
Sellers and Steve Hobson. And then the copyright. If you don't know the copyright, that's okay. Insert. Permission. Sometimes this is very standard. Um, if you're in a church like me, you could also do CCLI number. That will be the number of the song and your CCLI number license as well. Um, I usually at my little website plug there on my Twitter. Go check those out if you are not a member of the, actually you don't need to be a member of the site. Just follow me on the site or on Twitter uh, for more tutorials and more things to come. And then this is my church. Christjourney.org And this is our Twitter church, Christ Journey Twitter. Okay, and that's what I, Put in there then I press next we are now on the score settings this is a 4-4 common time so that will be the same but I'm gonna stick with 4-4 uh, tempo is 66 all you have to do is put it in there you can put in here uh, slowly or ballad or whatever it is that you want to put I usually leave it like that um, there's a little bug uh, and I'm gonna show you you will not get this if you type that. You will get something else. You'll see it in a, in a second. If this song had a pickup me measure, uh, we'll add it here if you need it to have one. Now, last thing is I usually put a random number here, 77 measures, and I just press finish. It's loading the sounds. Again, if you downloaded the demo, uh, of Finale 2012, this is not going to happen. You're not going to get that sound. Okay. And we are now in our score mode. I'm going to go ahead and press Command Plus. That will bring, that will make it bigger. And if you press Command Minus, it'll make it smaller. Okay. So that's all I'm doing. And this is the bug that I was telling you. Um, I don't know why it does this, but it's very simple to fix. Just right click. Edit text expression definition. We'll get into this window. Replace that nine with an equal. And you can then also take those off. And there it is. Quarter note equals 66. If not, if you want a little bit more space, just do that. Like we had it before. Okay. I'm going to leave it just like that. So quarter note equals 66. Um, there's more engraving and by the way, engraving is making sure that everything looks just like this. That's what engraving is. The fonts are right. You see how these fonts are, are wrong that I don't have our top here. It's not there. Uh, bottom. We'll, we'll do that on, an, on another tutorial. See the page number there and this in the middle. We'll do that at another time. I want to keep on going on setting up the score for you to start inputting notes. Now, we are on the score, and usually, since we're only doing a master rhythm, this is not the best place to input things if you're only doing one part. And the reason being, let's say, for example, I do, let's say I do this. I start inputting notes, right? Look how it's distributing the notes in here. Now, when I go to the part, uh, and we do that by going to document, edit part, part one, next part, previous part, last viewed part. So part one, that's our part. Check this out. I'm going to make it bigger. Um, that's not what I want on my part. I want only four. So if I only want four measures on my first uh, line or staff, what you will do usually is pressed select those four measures shift click then come over here and go oops i don't even find it now haha <laughs> fit measures there it is fit measures shift apple m 
that's your shortcut. And I'll tell it four measures, lock it. Okay, now you do that. Check what happens on the score. See, it didn't happen. It only happened on the parts. And that is because if you're working on a bigger score with a lot of instruments, you might not want to do four measures. You might need to do on the score two. You might need to do three. You might need to do 10 on the score so that it looks good on the score. Okay? So that's one of the reasons why I prefer on this type of uh, work to go straight to the part and then work from the part and not on the score mode. Okay? Now, there's another trick for doing this and I wanted to show you real quick. If you press on the bar and you go down or up on your arrow keys, it will do the same thing. See, I have four. I have only three here. Well, let's make that four. Then I have two. Let's make that four. Then I have one. Let me go down. Let's make that four. See how easy that is? Just by doing up or down arrow keys. Okay? That is how we are going to set up the score right now. See, I only have two in the front because that's the intro and we usually want to start a new rehearsal letter all the way to the left. It's easier to read this way. Another little trick. So, two. And then one, two, three, four, four, four. And that now starts looking more like that. Make sense? Right? Okay. In our next tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and erase this. The way to erase it is just going to the notes and pressing erase, backspace, delete. Okay, so we're back into that. So this is where I'm going to leave this first tutorial, um, setting up the score. Last thing I want to do is I want to go to file. I'm going to go save and just name it. I all that go tutorial part one. Okay, press save and we're done. That is it. Okay, um, we're going to leave this first part here. Don't want to want to let you guys go ahead and take some time with Finale 2012. Get to know it a little bit better. Uh, ask me any questions about it. You can go ahead and leave comments on the website. You can ask on Twitter at Jay Silvestrini. You can also email me at me, M-E, at jorgesilvestrini.com. You can, like I said, you can leave comments here and let's get a conversation started about working with Finale 2012. Okay, next tutorial, which will be part two, we're going to go ahead and input everything, all the notes. Have a great rest of your day and hope you visit us back in the website very, very soon. See ya.